I'm at the airport at Porto. Porto International. Well, it's not International Airport. It's just Porto Airport. You know, I don't think I don't think you can go. We can get other. We're going. To, I'm going to Barcelona today, which is another country, Spain, obviously. But it's not seen as like international flights because it's all EU. It's um a domestic flight. Look how look how empty this part of the airport is. Look at this, bro. Tell me, has anyone ever been to a? This ain't like a you know. This is a proper city. Look at the airport, bro. <laughs> look. Is that freaky or what? <laughs> but um, what was I saying? It's seen as domestic flights. Like you can't come to Porto from outside of Europe, I don't think. I know you can't from Australia anyway. You have to, when, when I came to Porto, you got to stop at a major European city and then catch a domestic flight. Like you either got to stop at Lisbon or Frankfurt or Paris or something like that, you know, depending what airline you're with. What's the time? It's 9.39. My flight's at 11.40, so I've got two hours. Air Baltic. Just landed. There's all shops that open down the other end. I want to go have a sus. See if there's something mad to buy. But killed two hours. So I was here for... I was in Porto for three nights. Barcelona now, brother. So it'll be my third time to Spain. I've been to Madrid once. And I've been to Barcelona once. So it'll be my third time. I love Barcelona, bro. My family, my Spanish side of my family, they're from Galicia, but they live in Madrid. But I prefer Barcelona, bro. Madrid was boring. Barcelona's hectic. to get to the gym there too fuck I've been motivated to train so much like since I stopped kickboxing training and I thought fuck I can finally put on weight and start looking good I've just been so motivated every day to train push what are we up to today push obviously most of the videos I do will be training up we're on the mission and look like Superman, bro. I told you. But not every day. I'm not going to give you just every day in the gym. Some people do that. How many times can you do a push full leg routine before people don't care? Every second day, eh? On the between days, we'll try and find other shit to do. Never been a sunglasses person. Just find a few leaf fit on my head weird. I got a big head, bro, and they're tight here. Does this happen to anyone else, bro? You wear sunglasses, and it's like it pushes on like veins—not not your temples, but it's like there's veins there on the sides of your head and near your ears, and it like pushes on them, and it's like your head's gonna explode. <laughs> it's like you put sunglasses on, and like ten minutes later, there's this build-up of pressure. There's the flight there. I right, just changed Barcelona, 11.40. Wait to see what gate I'm at. Change, mate, fuck me dead. 
There it is. Gate info at 10.30. Ah, it doesn't say what gate. Par 4. This is like women's fashion. Par 4. Are you hop? Toys? Toy store? Oh, you were stuck, lad. You were stuck. Can you make it? Come on, brother. No. No. It's probably not a good dis display. It turned people off buying it. Did it get stuck again? Oh, you made it that time. I want to see one more. Oh, you made it that time. All right. Maybe getting stuck is just a sometimes thing. Yeah, back to what I was saying about training. I'm so, I've been so jaded to train. Like, I don't even want rest days, bro, I swear. I think I might flip that three-day routine just back to back. PPO, PPO, PPO. And just, just like, not train if there's a reason. Like, if I feel... You know, one time I done push-pull legs in um, 2011 to 2012 got out of jail in 2011 um, and I done listen to this I done push pull legs for 11 months without a single rest day am I advocating for that? no I'm just telling you what happened I was a machine um, would I do that again? no I won't would I be more a machine if I rested at least once a month? probably <laughs> but I've done it and it's it's crack up but it just shows it shows you what you can do you know people say bro if you train for four on the five days straight it's like yeah no, bro I trained, 11, I trained for like 330 days straight relax mate you know what makes me what I always think bro like lifting weights you know what um, when I've done that kickboxing training for a year what it made me really realise is that there's levels of training when you go back to like lifting weights, like bodybuilding training, as much as I love it, it it's my favorite training. It's, it's easy, bruh. It's fucking easy. It's, it's easy. At no point do you feel like you're going to die and you're trying to breathe and asking God, go oh, away, your heart's going to... No point, bruh. You're barely busting a fucking sweat, bro. Um, so it made me realize, bruh, you know, there's cyclists, runners, Olympians, fighters out there that just train every fucking day for hours a day full intense you listen to the average bodybuilding fucking advocate people people you know bodybuilding fucking coaches saying oh mate if you train for more than two days you're going backwards like, shut the fuck up bro barely training what are you doing lifting dumbbells walking around with your hair gel shut the fuck up Anyway, that's enough of the rant, bro. I got a bit aggressive there. <laughs> I think people think I'm arguing with someone. <laughs> if anyone ever tries to tell me to stop filming with one of these, you know what people are like, what's this little gadget? Uh, do you have permission to film here? I'll just turn it into like um, a dispute. Like I'm arguing with someone like, mate, I told you I'm here and you should have been here. And then they'll just be like, ooh, it's domestic. So we'll just let him go. <laughs> I got mad Bose headphones. So there's the Bose headphones there. I actually got this exact set of headphones, I think. It is those headphones. They were down in um, in Bondi, down from 700 down to 400. They're mad headphones. I just, I'll wear the AirPod Pro 2s. They're that small, bro. They go in your ear. It's noise cancelling. I'm not walking around with those, bro. Like I'm a fucking skateboarder from 96. That's a mad bag, bro. That's a mad bag. How much dropped that? That's a cool little side bag, bro. It looks mad. Piquado. That's a mad bag, bro. I feel like these bag stores at the airport, I don't feel like, I know they are. 
They're ridiculous, bro. The amount they charge for bags, bro. You think they... They think they're Louis Vuitton and that. What other prices? Look. 549 euro. What is this? I have no idea. Made up just plain black, made of like a plasticky material, 549 euros. May as well say a thousand dollars Australian for that. Come on, brother. I got a Porto jersey um, two days ago in, uh, in in Porto. You know what I'm gonna do? You're with me on this. Every city I visit from now on, it makes me regret that I didn't do it. Every city I visit from now on, in the heart of the city, I'm getting their club jersey. Not the international jersey. I'm not getting a Spanish or Portuguese jersey. The club of that city, the main club. Like, so I've got FC Porto. We'll get, but oh, I've got a Barcelona jersey already, though. I already got one of those. But anyway, the city after that, we'll get a Ajax Amsterdam jersey and whatever. You know, you get the point, bro. I'm going to go for every city. I didn't do it at other places. That one, yeah, I already got that. That's Barcelona, by the way. Um, that's not Porto. The Porto jersey's on the other side, the one that I got. The blue and white one on the left. Hectic jersey. Actually, that's a mad arm. Um, it's a mad jumper, lad. Can't have two Porto things, though. I sent me one a jumper. I don't even think of Portuguese. Francis Senior. Oh, you know what I had in our day, Matt? Um, you know the Francis Senior? The the um and I and I, they didn't give me an iPhone four and I was spewing and I picked it at the floor. <laughs> I got one. I got one um yesterday yesterday morning in in uh, Porto near the motel. I got one and I had it properly. It was all right. It's all right. I'm not gonna say it's mad. I'd 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 never buy one again. It's all right. Let's go suss out all the hunger base, lad. All the duty free cigarettes. for a carton it's around 50 euros for a carton of each carton oh look at the pictures lad bro relax cuz you know what just stop selling them then like if it's so bad that you have to just I don't know I just don't understand they just put the most horrific pictures on the cigarette cases but they still sell it to you this is putrid, this is killing you here, buy it and give us heaps of taxes, <laughs> you know what I mean? But we're going to show you that it's putrid, but we're going to still sell it.
camels are 47 a carton. Average is about each packet's about seven euros, or a carton is 50 euros, whatever it was. You know where cigarettes are cheap in Greece? Fuck, they're cheap, bro. Like two dollars a packet, two euros a packet, bro. I swear, when I was in um, there was packets of cigarettes for a th one euro thirty, like a dollar thirty euro, whatever. Um, in Greece. In our Milos. Let's spin our shoe. 159 euros. Yes. Super dry. Look, cost watch. I got three watches already. Three watches. Yeah, three watches. I don't want to get too far in on watches. Buying too many. We've got a Britling with a mad chain, a mad bracelet, like thick cross and thick chain. That's one outfit. I've got a Tahua Carrera that I would usually wear with this chain. That's like my medium outfit. And then my light is like a wooden cross with my Apple Ultra watch. <laughs> different different levels for different occasions. I didn't want to wear the watch on this trip though. I actually don't like wearing watches, even though I have those three watches. So you'll barely ever see me wear them, any of them. the blue Springfield That's the end of the airport down here. It's not a big airport. It's a pretty low-key airport, eh? Even the stores are like... Not fucking... Nothing really compared to all the other airports. What's the time? 9.50. But I still got like two hours almost. There's a wine bar.
still no gate info on my uh, flight. You're going to get a feed. I didn't see any food places open just then. I didn't take notice of anything. Except for like one cafe. It's generic food. Like sandwiches. I think that's all we're going to get here. Generic food. <laughs> Like is is ge generic food. What I mean by that is um, you know the standard like cafeteria food. What the fuck am I talking about, bro? Look, look past like four restaurants. To be fair, they all look like generic food though. So you can morph them into one, and I stand correct. I think the other ones are closed too. I'll get something. Bro, I don't even. I, I, bro, I hate that food. I'm just buying something for the sake of it. I hate that food, bro. Like, I fucking hate it. You know what I mean? Like, little focaccias and ham cheese croissants. Like, I just don't even want it, lad. I want something proper with flavor. I want butter chicken or something. <laughs> For real, cuz. Like a pasta. Is that open? No, I feel like it's, I feel like it's closed. Look. No one's here. I'll suss out if it's open, but all their lights are on. Their ingredients are out. Saiba, look. Carbonara. Proper food. They won't be open though, watch. May, are you open? Closed. Woman yelled out, they're closed. They're all catching a flight Air Baltic. Riga. The city they're going to is Riga. Never heard of that. R-I-G-A. Air Baltic, Riga. This looks the part. I can't see a menu. And I can't really see people eating anything. They all look like they're drinking alcohol. But I'll suss it out.
I think you scan this for the menu. I'm gonna scan it before I line up so I can see what we're dealing with. Might be all bodgy Francisinas and that lad. You know what I mean? We'll see. Don't ask me fucking questions, show me the menu, mate. Come on, bro. It's asking me for fucking recommendations. I'm trying to scan the menu. And it's giving me a quiz. You know what? I fucking hate stores like that. Where you gotta scan to get a fucking menu and then they wanna ask you stuff, information. Go fuck yourself. Show me what you got, you girl. Zero. Zero, mate. You get a zero score. Zero. Fucking idiots. Zero, bro. Zero. Zero. One star. No, one star, mate. One star. Look. One star. Fucking Gronks, fuck your store. I'm gonna spend the next five minutes giving a one star everything. Stores like that annoy me, bruh. You see that? Scan for a menu and it asks you, oh, how did you find out? Do you like this store? How the fuck am I gonna know? I haven't even seen the menu, you grubs. Fucking no, lad. Here we go. Hey, <laughs> I'm burning, eh? That's when all carrying on them, you fucking dogs. You get one star everything, you piece of shit. I know that's some nice training food right here, tuna salad. But bruh, that looks like it's gonna be dry as dry AF lad. Oh you reckon? There's a carbonara. That looks juicy. I think we're going with this. The carbonara. Spaghetti carbonara. Seven euros. Alright. Get a water with it. I think that's the seating area, I'll sit over there. That's the seating area for here. Hello mate. Oh. This is... Can you heat that up? Yeah. Alright, there's a microwave? Yeah, yeah. alright, thank you. Just that please. I'll give you the fucking knife. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
<laughs> There's a microwave over there, I gotta go heat it up. Get this backpack off, bro. Make sure back sweaty as. Tommy, is my back sweaty? Yeah. I gotta heat this up. You know what I seen back up there? Like Street Fighter machines. I wanna go pump them, but when I walked past, the bloke was playing Mario Brothers. So I feel like it's one of those 501 game emulator things. I wanna go suss if they got mad old school games, lad. <laughs> Just sit there and clock Mario 3 for the next hour until my flight, until boarding. research on the um, I know already the gym at Barcelona is a lot better than that gym yesterday that was chockers like that was doing my head in we had to do leg press on the <laughs> the 60 year olds leg press that's like at swimming pools and motels um, you know the cable leg press whatever it was alright but you know what I feel like I actually don't feel good in my quads I feel like my glutes are tight the quads probably could have got worked harder. But I feel good in my quads, what I mean is that they don't feel sore, they don't feel tight. They don't feel like I progressed on them. Those machines, I don't know bro, they weren't they weren't good bro. They weren't good. I think I'm supposed to take the plastic off. It like melted. <laughs> yeah. it smells nice. People are gonna think I'm a food blogger. Nah, mate, you missed that boat. It's all eats. You missed that by like three months, mate. You'll try. Pretend I'm saying a little prayer so I can seem real stoic to everyone. Yes, that's me, mate. Very spiritual and stoic. <laughs> that's hectic. If it'll be dry, it's not. It's not dry at all. It's mad pasta. My main YouTube went 400k a couple days ago, eh? Hey? Hectic. My Insta's almost there as well. I'm like 390, something like that. I'll be there in like a, I don't know what's that, a couple weeks. A couple weeks.
possum. Little possum. <laughs> ah. You know, you know, lad. I'm being judgmental right now. a good serving size, not too much. Man, tissue. I wanted to buy something cool, but everything's shit, lad. <laughs> I'm always looking for an excuse to buy something. I don't need anything or want anything. But like, I look around like a full victim, a full marketing victim. Like, what's new and flashy that you can use your psychology on to take my money? You know what I have, one of my managers sent me it just the other day, but I've been looking at it for ages. You know the Ray-Bans that have the cameras in them, Ray-Ban Meta Stories or something? Like they'd be perfect for hood tours and when I do the proper shoots. You know what I mean? Imagine that. But the thing is, unless they've changed that, I looked into it like a month ago. The reason I don't get them, one is they're all sunglasses. 
walk around wearing a pair of sunglasses, but I'll, I'll do what I gotta do. But the thing is, they shoot, first of all, they shoot vertical. They shoot like they're made for Instagram stories. So they shoot in that aspect ratio, like vertical. And you think, all right, well, I guess you can crop it out, zoom in to fill the screen. It'll be shit resolution, but it'll still be all right. But then on top of that, they shoot. I need to go to the toilet, bro. Where's the fucking toilet? Oh, it's over there. I, I, I thank you. Yeah. You have a YouTube channel, I right? do, brother. I saw your video in Porto. The yeah. way you ate the Francis Zinnia yep. was disgusting. <laughs> it was disgusting. I was just talking about I that. Was, I was watching it. A friend of mine showed yeah. me and I was like, what the fuck is he doing? Yeah. And I threw it at the floor. Yeah. I ate one. I was just saying, I ate one yesterday with a knife and fork. I ate it properly. It's better. It's way better. I yeah. It's okay. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. It's not the greatest thing on earth, but it was a lot better. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, brother. Nice All right. <laughs> You know, I'll be surprised, bro. You know how many fucking um, actual European people? Here's the toilet here. Uh, recognize me now? Like, before a couple trips ago, it was just like if I bumped into Aussies in Europe, they'd be like, oh, Spanian. Now, when, when I got here to Porto, three days ago off the aeroplane, the border security bloke, he goes, he said to me, he goes, oh, hey, how are you? What are you doing here? You're going into the hood here. And I was like, I didn't know what to say. I go, oh, you recognize me. I didn't want to answer yes or no because I thought, like, is he trying to say that you're not allowed in here or, like, is, you, you haven't got the right visa or something? So I was just like, oh, yeah, you know me. How are you, brother? <laughs> the border security bloke. <laughs> what about him? The way um, you ate the French casino was disgusting. I'm going to hide the camera now because I feel like a bit of a weirdo filming in the toilet. So relax. The camera's going off. But tell me... Lads, that this has never happened to you, bro. You gotta do the ultimate strikey. You fucking piss, right? And then after you piss, you shake your curse around, get out of me, get the piss out, fucking you walk off, and then piss comes out, bro. And it goes on your shorts, and it's like a little circle of like, like a little wet circle. And then so as a strikey, bro, you go to like the fucking where you, 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 you know you wash your hands, the, the tab, and then you like splash all your shorts, like, so it's like disguises it, like it was like, nah, nah, it's not like a little dribble of piss. What it is, is it's like splashed shorts. It was all water there, so they can't, you know? It's like the ultimate strikey, brother. It just happened then. I walked away, I'm like, why, why did a, a dribble of piss just come out? And then you got like a little circle, like a little wet circle, bro. Just a little baby circle. And you got to hide it with splashes. You, you craftly splash, splash, like flick it, you know? You can walk away when no one knows, you know. <laughs> I want a coffee now. I'm the ultimate consumption monster. Just consume, brother. Oh, here's the Street Fighter machines. Bar metal slug lad, you'll chai. The slug nos lad. Metal slug nos. I don't know I'm gonna play this though while holding this. Maybe I can rest this on me. Get on me. I'm gonna rest this on my body. And if I angle it like that, I think you can see it, can't you? Let's sit to one side. I think so, I think that's the situation, brother. Tekken 3D. I'm pull out Tekken, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go Eddie Gordo and we're just gonna cheat by spamming the kick buttons. You know what it is, lad. You know what it is. Oh, mother. We're spamming the kick buttons. 
Oh, there is no. Oh, there is Eddie. There we go. You know what it is, brother. <laughs> Spam the kick button, Zod. That's what you do when you can't play, mate. It help like that, just like that, bro. All right. Maybe that's not working as as as, as I was playing. Bro, right, which one's the kick buttons? So that oh, that's a kick. All right, all right, all right. So that's a kick, bro. I'm gonna I'm gonna get pumped. All right, boom. All right, let's try that again, mate. If I lose, I'm walking away getting a coffee. Let's go. There we go, lad. I found the kick buttons now, but there's no stopping me. Yeah, come on, Lord, but what did you think, lad? Come on now, on both K's. Laters, brother. Laters, I told you. Wow, mine's got no sound, lad. Matey's over there is full pumping. They're playing straight fighter. It's like a stereo system, lad. I wasn't even watching. This idiot, this bloke. Oh, spada. Oh, slad. Sit down, king. Too easy, bro. We're just lumping them. What other games is there? Street Fighter, King of Fighters, Metal Slug, Final Fight, Donkey Kong, Galaga. King of Pretty good game. Super Mario. I'll have a crack at Street Fighter. I'm shit at Street Fighter, but we'll have a Krizak, lad. We'll have a crack, brother. Who do we go in Street Fizzle, lad? Street Fizzle, who do we owe, lad? Saget, of course, brother. Of course we do. You know we go Saget. You know we go Saget, brother. The, 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 I swear to God, they're inverted, lad. I can't even do a fucking move, lad. I can't even do a tiger, like. I can't even do a single tiger. Fuck off, there, Sim. You silly cunt. Tiger, you fucking idiot. Bodgy. I thought Tiger was like. What? I thought it was like a hurricane, man. Hey, fuck you, I'll smash this game, man. I'll smash that fucking game. Couldn't do one tiger, bodgy game. Plus the buttons were inverted. It was annoying. The kick buttons were all at the top. <laughs> Bro, I thought tiger was like down to a forward punch, like Hadouken. Done it 17 times. I'm gonna get a coffee. That's what I'm doing. I'm getting a coffee, going to my gate, relaxing, getting ready for Barcelona. Hop off at Barcelona, go to the gym, train, have a relaxing night. Tomorrow we'll train. We're gonna do a shoot tomorrow. I'm going into the hood. And I'm saying goodbye to you now. Later.